Hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. This morning I was listening to some music whilst I was doing a bit of housework and if I could turn back time came on. Well, that was it. It was in there going round and round and round. And I began to wonder if I could turn back time, just press that going backwards button and pause for a little while there, where would I go? I sort of erred on the side of, well, maybe I would go back to just before I met my ex-husband and then change what I did so that the meeting didn't happen. But I thought, no, that would be nasty. So I then went back to my childhood and I'm lucky that I have lots of lovely, happy family childhood memories. Not like so many of the clients that I've worked with who were abused by those who should have been in a position to care for them, to nurture them. So my memories were happy ones. And I thought, yes, but how do I do that? So I, I got a, a couple of photographs of me with my mum, my dad, my granddad on the beach probably in Landudno or somewhere and I just sat looking at them for a few minutes then allowed my eyes to close and in a sort of very light form of hypnosis of remembering, of recalling I, I just allowed myself to be that child that child back on the beach with her dress tucked into her knickers with her metal bucket and wooden handled spade digging and making sand pies and sand castles and it was lovely I just stopped there for two or three minutes and then opened my eyes with a smile and came back to the reality of today so have a go at that. If you find it hard to just transport yourself back, use a photograph. Use it as a, a key to the door to the past. And just let yourself be that inner child. Wander around. Maybe as I did, to feel loved, to feel cosseted, to feel care for or if you were a child who sadly was abused maybe take your mind back to before that happened that there was some happiness for that child before the abuse happened that's a not so easy task to carry out so I thought that was it, I'd got it all tied up, I wanted to go back to that time. And then I thought, hang on, no, there's one time I would prefer to go back to. And it was a very precise time. When we moved over to Cheshire, we very much moved over last minute. No, it wasn't what we used to call the moonlight flit. It was just how things panned out. And my ex-husband ordered the removal van without them coming to have a look around. And the one that he ordered was way too small. So lots and lots of things had to be thrown away, including a large wardrobe that had all my crafting things in, which I was assured was only junk, so it didn't need to go. Um, but strangely, nothing of his was thrown. But the one thing I regret that was thrown was an old reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder with a bag full of old recordings. Recordings that had the voices of my mum and my dad on. And how I would have loved to be able to hear their voices again. 
that would be the moment that I would go back to and I'd say, well, no, that goes with us. Even if I have to carry it on my lap, in the car, on the way over, it stays. So have a think and if you could turn back time, what would you turn it back to? Thank you for listening. Do press that subscribe button and do maybe share in the comments where you would take yourself back to. Take care. Thank you for listening. Bye.